what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back thank you guys so much for clicking onto this video if you are new here girl welcome to my channel on my channel i talk about a lot of candles from bath and body works hygiene from bath and body works tj maxx hauls marshall's hauls all kinds of ulta and sephora hauls just a lot of different beauty content on my channel girl so if you vibe with me if you want to be a part of the guru gang please make sure you take two seconds to look to your bottom right and make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can continue to be notified when I do upload. And if you have been here, girl, thank you so much for continuing to be a part of the Guru Gang. You already know what time it is, y'all. If you can't tell from my little hat, this is going to be my review of all the new Bath & Body Works Christmas scents, new scents, as well as returning scents, some repackages. We've got a lot going on this year, you guys, and I definitely have some thoughts. So if you are into that and you enjoyed my fall rating video, this is gonna be very similar to that. So please stay tuned and continue to watch if you want to hear my thoughts. So without further ado, you guys, let's get into it. A lot of these are returning scents, so I did think that it would be a good idea to go ahead and grab some of the ones that I have from last year to kind of compare and contrast, see which year's version is better, see if it's stronger, see if it's weaker, see if it's changed. I just feel like a lot of these, you guys, we have been kind of waiting to come back. Um, and you know, if you have some already in your collection, you may or may not want to skip out on this year's version. So, so the first one we're going to talk about, you guys, is Vanilla Bean Noel. Of course, this is a returning classic. She comes back every year. And this is probably the most popular, well-known Christmas scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, I will say Winter Bean Noel has changed quite a bit over the years. I remember it originally being released and just being beast mode, super gourmand, super yummy, super delicious. And it used to be a scent that lasted all day, but over the years, it's just kind of dissipated into a whole lot of sweet nothingness. So I was very curious to see it this year's version because there's also been talk that the notes have changed or something. I don't know if it was just the notes in like the candle or if it was the notes in the body care as well, but we have this year's version as well as one from this year's packaging. So the notes in Vanilla Bean Noel this year are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream and snow kissed musk honestly y'all 100 percent, both of these are pretty light to me like this is not what i remember vanilla bean noel smelling like i do get vanilla bean caramel and like musk but this is just not what i remember vanilla bean noel to be unfortunately it's just super light like it does smell good i am getting a little bit of a cookie vibe a caramelly vibe and a musk vibe for the most part y'all it's just super super light unfortunately so yeah even spraying it in the air you guys i'm just not getting a whole lot so i do try to spray the scents in the cap so i can smell it in the cap first because i feel like that's how you can get the most concentrated version of the scent since the scent really has nowhere to go but even in the cap, on the dry down, I get a little bit more of that cookie aspect coming out, but it really just smells like musk and caramel and it's just super, super light. And I don't know, I'm just very disappointed in how Vanilla Bean Noel smells this year and how it continues to smell over the years. It just seems like it just gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, and by the way, you guys, I did not pick up any body creams of these except for one which we will talk about, but um, I really wanted to just get the Fine Fragrance Mist first to see if I would even like some of these scents, and then I would make my decision on what body creams I would pick up, so yeah. Overall right now, you guys, while I love Vanilla Bean Noel as a scent, unfortunately, it's just super, super weak, so I'm not really feeling it right now. Next in our returning classics lineup, this is going to be Winter Candy Apple. I will say one thing, you guys, the packaging this year is great, like the packaging is really, really cute and really pretty, um, but yes, yeah, so this is a returning classic. This is definitely like the number two most popular scent. It's probably tied with Winter Bean Noel, honestly, but the notes are red apples, winter rose petals, candied oranges, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. Now, I do not have any um, Winter Candy Apple left from previous years to compare this to, but I will say I really don't feel like the scent has changed in this at all. It definitely smells really good. If you are an apple lover, I honestly feel like this smells more like oranges and cinnamon than it does apple. Like the apple that's in there adds a little bit of a tart aspect to it. But for the most part, you guys, I definitely get like a candied orange, like candied cinnamon orange type of smell. And I love winter candy apple. I am definitely a winter candy apple fan. It also has a little bit of a perfumey quality to me. And it always has like it's like an underlying perfumey soapy quality. So 
this is definitely a scent that I did not like way back when when I was hooked on vanilla bean noel I was anti winter candy apple so I have definitely grown to love winter candy apple um, and it's definitely something that other people will compliment you on when you smell when you wear it believe it or not this is one of those scents that I would kind of throw on haphazardly but then I would realize I would get a lot of compliments when I wear this so don't sleep on winter candy apple you guys i am definitely a fan of her and i'm happy to say that the scent has not changed this year so yeah next returning fave we have is twisted peppermint i've talked about twisted peppermint recently honestly in a few different videos because we are seeing a lot of brands release their christmas scents and a lot of brands are doing a minty type of scent that i feel like is kind of a play on twisted peppermint and a lot of them have really just been failing because i feel like the peppermint takes over completely and the sweetness of the scent is completely lost but i always felt like twisted peppermint was just a really good balance of sweet and mint so to speak and this is another holiday scent that i usually will always get compliments on that i also like to spray in my car believe it or not because especially in the winter it just gives you that cool icy sweet type of wintry vibe that i love but the notes in twisted peppermint are cool peppermint sugared snow fresh balsam and vanilla buttercream and this definitely smells like a true peppermint you guys it smells like a sweet hard candy peppermint definitely not like those soft dinner mints necessarily but more of a true peppermint smell and I still like it you guys I do feel like the mint is coming through a little bit more this year um this is a version that I have from a previous year and I feel like it's a little bit creamier. It's a little bit more vanillic. So I do feel like they went a little bit heavier on the mint and twisted peppermint this year, but not enough to where I don't still like the scent. Um, I probably won't reach for it a whole lot because as you guys can see, I still have an entire one that I have not gone through from a previous year. So I may end up gifting this one. I'm not 100% sure, but this I do find to be a really good giftable scent in during the holidays as well um, because a lot of people do like this one. So yeah, this is definitely a great holiday pick. Definitely recommend Twisted Peppermint. Next in the holiday lineup, this is a new one to the collection. This is Bright Christmas Morning. Now I have talked about the candle version of this in my Christmas candle mashup video. So definitely check that out if you are interested. But the notes in Bright Christmas Morning are ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. And y'all, as soon as I smelled this body care, it literally reminded me of a Kayali perfume that I have, the Eden Juicy Apple. It reminds me of that because it has a sparkling berry quality to it, but I'm definitely getting that crisp apple as well as the citrus from those oranges. And I really like how this smells, you guys. It does still linger in the cap for a bit as well. I sprayed this in the cap maybe a couple hours ago, and I'm still smelling it, which I feel is really good compared to some of these other scents we're going to talk about. I really like this one. I feel like if you like Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple, you will definitely like this one. This would be great to layer with that. Overall, if you like tart citrus scents, this is definitely something that you should pick out and consider trying. I'm probably going to pick up a moisturizer in this because I do really, really like this. I love apple scents, orange scents. I love any type of tart, like fruity scent, especially in the winter. So I will definitely be picking up some more items from this collection and using this this winter. So we're gonna talk about is this iced sugar plum. I was super, super excited to smell this one and try this one because if you guys did not know, this is a marshmallow scent and you guys know I'm obsessed with marshmallow. I literally just did two marshmallow layering videos. So please check those out if you have not already. But yes, I saw a lot of people talking about this and saying that it smelled so good. So I was like, oh, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. So the notes in this are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. Now, I was a little weirded out because I'm like, how is this going to be a marshmallow scent, but it's called iced sugar plum. But y'all, it actually is a pro predominantly marshmallow scent. I definitely get a soft fluffy marshmallow and in the initial spray I do get a little bit of a like sugar plum type of smell but it kind of goes away and what you're really just left with is a fluffy marshmallow scent and it actually does smell good in the cap but my issue with it is when I sprayed myself down I sprayed my clothes down with this I don't know if you guys can tell but I did put a little tiny dent in it and I literally oversprayed my clothes and when I tell you guys I could not smell this 20 seconds later like I kept smelling my hoodie I had a really really thick hoodie on so that I could try and carry the scent with me throughout the day to see how I felt about it and I literally couldn't smell it and I thought I was smelling it but then I realized it was another scent that I had on my hoodie from the day before so I really was not smelling this at all you guys so 
in the cap it smells really good it's definitely a predominantly marshmallowy powdery type of scent i don't know where they got the name from because again i really only smell plum in that first spray it's just a really tart sugar plum blast but once it dries down and settles i really just smell fluffy whipped marshmallow which i would love that but when i spray myself and my clothes with this i just cannot smell it so i literally can only smell it when i spray it inside the cap and that literally does nothing for me because i'm not going to be wearing the cap i'm going to be wearing the scent and if i can't spray it on my clothes and smell it and that's usually what i do when i can't when i can't smell it on myself then unfortunately it's just kind of a no for me so i don't know i might try it in the body cream or the body lotion and see because i do really really enjoy the scent because i love marshmallow but again you guys if i'm spraying it in the cap and i can barely smell it in the cap and i can't smell it at all on myself once i put it on then that's a huge issue for me so as much as i love the scent i just unfortunately will have to either take this back or try it in a different version try to layer it with the lotion i'm not sure but as of right now girl i'm just not a fan of the overall strength and longevity of this so yeah hey girl now let's move on to some happy joyful news so here we have little miss christmas cookies this is bay you guys this is literally bay this is literally one of my favorite christmas scents and the notes on Christmas cookies are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. The packaging is so cute for Christmas cookies this year, y'all. I did pick Christmas cookies up as well in the body lotion, the body cream, excuse me. And it just looks so cute, you guys. They really killed it with the packaging this year. Out a Christmas cookies. This is, I believe, the original year that Christmas cookies came out. And I brought them out to compare to each other. And I've already sprayed both inside the cap and pretty much can tell you guys, I definitely get a little bit more caramel in this version um, from whatever year this was. I think this was 2018, 2019, something like that. I definitely get a little bit more caramel in this version. However, this one does still smell really good. It's really just a creamy almondy crunchy cookie smell this is definitely a scent for the almond lovers definitely someone who doesn't want something super super rich like i feel like this is kind of a airy fluffy type of cookie scent but i definitely get way more caramel in this year's version so while i do still really really love how it smells in this year's version i will say um unfortunately i feel like this the version from this particular packaging just had a lot more caramel and was a lot more rich to me this one's definitely a little lighter unfortunately but i will say i can definitely still smell it on myself when i spray myself down with it i wore it to work yesterday as you guys can see i have a little tiny dent in there i wore it to work yesterday i layered it with the body cream i also mixed in one of my body oils with it and then sprayed myself down with the fine fragrance mist and i was happy to report that i did get quite a bit of compliments when i walked into work yesterday i actually kind of went a little bit nose blind to it so I couldn't really smell it on myself at work unless I was like smelling my arm, but a lot of people were telling me I smelled really good. I also sprayed it in my hair and the scent definitely lingered with me throughout the day. So that is my take on Christmas cookies from this year. While it is not as strong as years past, at this point, I feel like nothing is gonna be as strong as it used to be because Bath & Body Works is just changing the formula for everything. But I do feel like the scent is pretty much the same. It's just not as much caramel in there. It's not as rich as it used to be. But I do still get that almondy, creamy, caramelly, cookie goodness so if you love christmas cookies and you ran out or you want to replace it girl you definitely can pick up this year's packaging of it so yeah <laughs> speaking of cookie scents so this is merry cookie from this year now you guys i actually already have a few merry cookies in my collection i have this packaging and i have this packaging and i have no idea why i'm just now realizing that merry cookie is indeed christmas cookies i didn't realize it until one of you guys commented and asked me and you guys were like is merry cookie christmas cookies and I'm, and i'm thinking to myself of course it's not but then i look at the notes the notes are literally exactly the same online for this and christmas cookies and i smelled them side by side and almost could not really tell a difference I do feel like I'm getting a little bit more of that caramel note that I was missing in the Christmas cookies from this year. That could just be my nose playing tricks on me. I'm not sure, but for the most part, you guys, I mean, Merry Cookie and Christmas Cookie are pretty much identical this year. So I have no idea why they did that, why they have two different names of the exact same scent. I'm not entirely sure. But if you want a mini option of Christmas cookies, girl, go ahead and pick up Merry Cookie. 
Okay, you guys, next scent I'm excited to talk about is Winterberry Wonder. This is what it looks like this year. Super cute packaging with the wrap around snowflakes. And this is another returning classic for me. This is another fave of mine that I feel like gets me a lot of compliments. The notes in this are Ruby Frost, Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. Now, you do have to be a fan of berry scents to enjoy this because this is definitely a true very very tart cranberry type of scent and if you have smelled the frosted cranberry scrub from tree hut i definitely feel like this smells very similar to that if you do not know what this smells like but yeah you guys it's just really a sweet tart cranberry type of scent i just love how it smells because i love cranberry scents and i do feel like it literally smells exactly the same as previous year's versions i don't feel like they've changed it as much i actually feel like this year's version might even be a little bit sweeter like there might be a little bit more vanilla in here that's making this a little bit more sweet and less tart but overall you guys i do feel like winterberry wonder smells exactly the same i don't feel like they've changed the formula as far as the scent it still smells really good i haven't actually worn this one out yet to tell you guys how the longevity and stuff is but this scent has definitely not changed so if you are a winterberry wonder fan definitely do not be dismayed this year it smells exactly the same okay the next little scent in that collection is going to be frosted coconut snowball I actually do not have any frosted coconut snowball left in my collection i feel like at one point i I feel like at one point I did have a lotion and fine fragrance mist of this, but I don't know if I gave it away or what, but I don't know. At that point in time, you guys, Frosted Coconut Snowball wasn't really my thing, so I was happy to pick it up again this year and revisit it and see how I feel about it. The notes are Frosted Coconut, Whipped Vanilla, Sugar Crystals, Winter Freesia, and Snow Kiss Woods. And I actually really, really like it this year, you guys. It's definitely a creamy coconut, not like a tropical coconut or anything. I'm always really impressed when I can smell a coconut scent that doesn't smell summery. So I really think it's the mixture of like the vanilla and the freesia in there with the coconut that's giving this kind of a wintry vibe. But I really like how this smells. There's also a little hint of a citrus type of note in here. But for the most part, I'm getting a really creamy coconut. And it's like giving me just kind of a snowy winter day type of vibe. And I really like how this smells, you guys. I definitely think this will be great to layer with a lot of other things. To add some creaminess to it. To add some sweetness to it. And I'm definitely getting that vanilla in here as well. So I am definitely a fan of Frosted Coconut Snowball and the Fine Fragrance Mist this year. Scent that I actually forgot to add to my cart, unfortunately. But honestly, I really didn't need to. Because I still have two from previous years. But this is Snowflakes and Cashmere, you guys. So um, this is just two different packaging. But they pretty much smell the same to me. But Snowflakes and Cashmere is back, you guys. And if you guys have not ever smelled Snowflakes and Cashmere, I definitely recommend you try it. If you try nothing else from the Christmas since this year, I definitely recommend Snowflakes and Cashmere. I feel like it's the most universal. It's not necessarily gourmand, but it's not necessarily floral. It's definitely something that leans a little bit more musky and perfumey in a way, but I feel like it just smells really good on everybody. There's just something really clean and pretty and powdery about it. I'm pretty sure there's like woods and caramel and amber or something like that. I will have the notes on the side, but these packaging these bottles unfortunately do not have the scent notes on the packaging so i'm kind of going off memory but from what i smell you guys it's definitely a very clean powdery pretty clean girl type of scent like this could even be unisex because i think there's like woods in here so there's a little touch of woodiness and it just gives me like the vibes of like being outside on a snowy winter day and you're like by a fireplace and just smells like so comforting and good this is definitely a super universal like layering scent like you can literally add this to anything if you want to give it more of a perfume quality if you want to give it a little bit more of a musk type of quality a powderiness like this is definitely that girl so i am super happy to see it come back because i don't have any more body creams of it the body creams that i did have went bad so i'm excited to go ahead and grab some more body creams as you guys can see i really don't need another fine fragrance mist but i might just grab one because at some point one of these is probably going to go bad so i may pick up one fine fragrance mist during semi-annual sale this year but i will definitely be stocking up on some moisturizers 
Hopefully we see Snowflakes and Cashmere in a non-glotion body butter because I cannot stand those glotions. If we can just get regular body butters again from Bath & Body Works, that would be great. Snowflakes and Cashmere is definitely bae. All right, you guys, so this is actually a scent that is new to my nose. So this is Fireside Flurries. Now, when this scent originally was released, I was on a no buy from Bath & Body Works, so I never actually got a chance to try this scent. Um, but there is basically big talks that this scent is a dupe for replicas by the fireplace. Um, the notes are toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. And honestly, you guys, I'm mostly just getting a lavender that kind of tickles your nose a little bit and then I'm getting kind of like a fireside aspect so I can see how it can be compared to uh, replicas by the fireplace. I'm really not getting as much um, marshmallow as I would like to. So I do want to play around with this and wear it and kind of see because I did spray myself with it. I feel like I got way more lavender and like that woody type of vibe than I did the marshmallow. So I was kind of hoping the marshmallow would come out a little bit more. It does smell good, but I'm just, I, I just really want more of that marshmallow to come through. So I might actually keep this and pair it with some more marshmallowy type of scents to bring out more of that marshmallow note. But so far, it's really just smelling like a woody lavender scent to me. I do get a little creaminess kind of as it settles down. So that's probably the marshmallow coming through. But I do feel like this has potential. Um, I can't speak to what it smelled like in previous years because I never owned it, but I know a lot of people love this scent. So I'm going to continue to play around with it and let you guys know what I think. You hey guys, so on to something that's not really a holiday scent, but it is something that Bath & Body Works has brought back for the holidays because this was discontinued. This is Magic in the Air, and this was definitely one of Bath & Body Works' better selling scents, so I have no idea why they discontinued it because literally everyone loved this scent. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I kind of slept on it. I really never picked it up. I think I picked it up in a gift set one time and I like gave it away, but I kind of was in the hole if it's not super gourmand, like I don't want to buy it. So I never really used it. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick one up and see this year how I feel about it. And you guys, I freaking love this. It's almondy, it's powdery, but there's like a nice like perfume quality about it. This smells so good, you guys. The notes in this are almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. I definitely get the persimmon in there. There's like a, a, a citrus tang type of vibe in there, but I'm also getting the almond. I'm for sure getting the iris because that's what's giving it this powdery quality. It's just a really sweet, clean, citrusy, powdery, perfumey type of mix. It smells really good, you guys. Like I cannot wait to wear this. I am very surprised by how much I love this. This just smells bomb, you guys. It smells bomb. I sprayed this in the cap a few hours ago and I could still smell it in here. So hopefully this gives me a good amount of longevity, a nice little scent bubble, okay, that'll travel with me throughout the day because I am really loving how it smells right now. So yeah, that is magic in the air. The next scent that I'm gonna talk about is Starlit Night. So I guess this is another returning scent. I'm not sure. I never, I'm not familiar with this scent, so I can't really remember if this is returning or it's been brought, or if this is brand new. But the notes are Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Agarwood. And I don't know, you guys, I really don't know how I feel about this one, honestly. Like, I don't smell it and instantly say, oh my God, this smells amazing. So that right there is an indicator to me that number one, I probably won't reach for it. And number two, I don't actually like the scent and I'm trying to find something to like about it. I definitely get the berry and I definitely get the iris like I get and I normally really really love iris scents so I definitely get a little bit of iris in here but mainly I'm getting the berry and the agarwood and it's kind of mixing a little weird for me. So yeah I was thinking that I would totally love this you guys because I love iris and I love berry scents. Um, I'm really just kind of on the fence with it right now. I don't hate it but I don't love it. I'm somewhere in the middle because I guess I'm trying to figure out the fragrance. I don't know. It's like I'll get a whiff of it and I like it and then I'll get another whiff of it and it come and it almost kind of smells a little bit like cough syrup. So right now I am not 100% sure about Starlit Night. Like I'm leaning a little bit more towards the I'm not feeling it. Um, and also it is kind of light as well. I even sprayed my dress with it and I'm really just not getting much. I'm not getting much. It's just a faint like berryish powdery woody type of scent that almost leans a little medicinal to me so 
I don't know. I'm not in love with this one. I'm not going to say I hate it, but it's definitely barely a like for me. It's somewhere in between dislike and like. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. It's just something is really weird about it. Something's a little off about it for me, but the packaging's really pretty. So I don't know. I don't even want to say that I would gift this because I don't like gifting things that I don't like myself. So I don't know, girl. I'm going to give it a couple wears, but if I don't like it, she definitely might be going back to the store. Okay, you guys. And then the last scent in that collection, which I actually am in love with, this is the Vanilla Mocha Martini. The notes in this are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. And if you guys have not already heard, is 100% a repackage of Vanilla Mocha Cream from a previous year. The notes are exactly the same. It's literally no difference. I will say... This one definitely smells a little bit more richer. Like there's like a little bit heavier of a chocolate note in this year's version compared to this one. But for the most part, you guys, they're literally exactly the same. Like if any person who didn't have a super sensitive nose were to smell these side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I just have a really, really sensitive nose. So I definitely pick up a little bit more of that mocha aspect in this version. But for the most part, you guys, this is definitely a repackage. If you are not familiar with vanilla mocha cream, um, basically, you guys, this literally just smells like, it smells like a white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. Like, literally. It's creamy. There's a little bit of a of coffee vibe to it. But for the most part, it's more vanilla and cream and a little bit of a, a mocha chocolatey note to it. So, it's definitely a gourmand scent. If you're not a coffee lover, don't be afraid of this scent because the coffee note is very, very faint. It's mostly just a very cozy, creamy, vanilla, chocolatey scent. Um, it actually reminds me a lot of Midnight Amber Glow. Like when I smelled it, I thought I was tripping. And I was like, wait a minute. They actually kind of have that same coffee and vanilla type of vibe. Um, I feel like the latte and the vanilla note in Midnight Amber Glow definitely resembles the same vanilla cappuccino note that is in here. So these guys are definitely super similar to my nose. I just feel like maybe Midnight Amber Glow in the Fine Fergus Mist has that ambery perfumey quality that amps it up a little bit and takes it from being a gourmand scent to more perfumey. But overall, you guys, if you like Midnight Amber Glow in the Fine Fragrance Mist and you have never smelled vanilla mocha cream, I definitely think that this one is worth trying and picking up. Vanilla Mocha Martini, which is what it's called this year, is definitely one of my fave pickups thus far. Okay, guys, and then I did also pick up a Dream Bright. So the Dream Bright notes are Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. I don't know why, but I was getting a lot more scent in the Fine Fragrance Mist than I was of the perfume. And I'm definitely getting the vanilla. I'm definitely getting some berries in there, and I'm getting a underlying floral note. But overall, you guys, I feel very similarly about this one, how I do with Starlit Night, where I'm just like, it reminds me a little bit of Into the Night, which I said in a previous review where I like first smelled this. And it reminds me a little bit of Into the Night, maybe a more toned down like juvenile version of it, because Into the Night has that patchouli in it that makes it just elevated and fancy. And I actually really like Into the Night. But this one, I don't hate it. It's just not something that I can see myself reaching for. Like, I'm not going to wake up one day and be like, oh my God, I really want to wear Dream Bright. Like, that's not how I feel about this. I don't smell it and I'm instantly like, oh, that smells good. It smells distinct. It smells like something that I'm going to be thinking about wearing one day. Like, I just don't get that vibe from this. It just smells kind of blah for me. Um, and I feel like I'm probably either going to give this one away to like my mom or take it back to the store because it just doesn't do much for me. And I try to keep things in my collection that I genuinely love and or like or I can see myself wearing with other things. There isn't really anything about this one that makes me want to keep it. So I don't know. I might play around with it. We'll see. But as of right now, you guys, I'm not really a fan of this one. It's okay. It's decent. But I don't know. I just feel like they could have picked a better scent to be the new, you know, winter scent that they bring a perfume out of because this one isn't all that for me i feel like they should have just completely brought magic in the air back instead of this one but that's just my personal opinion i know a lot of people love this scent so girl i just recommend going into your store trying it out see what you like see how you feel about it but it's just eh for me so yeah right, you guys and then the last couple of scents are actually some of the newer scents so i'm super super excited to review these so this is rainbow swirl candy um honestly you guys i have already worn this one i've smelled it i've played around with it and i don't like it 
I don't like it. It's going back and I'm going to tell you why. So I'm pretty sure the notes in here, there's like peppermint, there's berries, I think raspberry, strawberry, lemon drop. There's just like a whole lot of fruits and berries and nuts and all kind of stuff in there. But my issue with it is that it's super, super sweet, which y'all know I love. It almost gave me the same vibes as Enchanted Candy Potion, where it's like that sweet tart pixie stick type of vibe. But whatever sour fruits they put in here is just completely turning me off when it mixes with the mint. Like, I feel like they should have picked one thing and stuck with that. Like, if they were going to make this a sweet tart type of scent, they should have stuck with the sweet tart type of dynamic because mixing in the sour lemon drop or whatever they did and the berries with peppermint, it just comes across medicinal to me, you guys. Like, oh, I don't like it. I do not like it. It like it's, It has so much potential because it actually smells decently strong for it to be a mini mist, but I just don't like it, y'all. If you are into fruity, minty scents mixed together, then by all means, try this out. Like, I feel like this is like twisted peppermint with some fruits mixed in. But for me, I feel like fruity and minty together just gives me toothpaste vibes. Like, I don't know. It gives me a kid's toothpaste vibe. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -mm, I don't like it. Like, this is the first one that I smelled that I was like, oh, I might actually like this one and be able to play around with it. No, mm -mm, no, ma'am. I don't like it. It's just sour. And it's like the more I smell it and try to like it, the more I dislike it. So yeah, girl, she's going back. I don't like it. I'm just, some people totally love this, but I don't, I just do not like the way the mint and the fruits and the everything just comes together. It just comes across real sour to me, real medicinal, and I don't like it. So those are my thoughts on rainbow swirl candy, girl. Okay, you guys, but we are going to end on a positive note here. So the last one that I picked up is Little Miss Strawberry Snowflakes. So the notes in this one are Juicy Strawberry, Whipped Cream, and Ice Bergamot. Fan of this one, you guys. Definitely a fan. Um, the Five Fragrance Mist is a little bit light, so I do want to go and pick up the body lotion, body cream, and maybe like the hand cream because I have been seeing that the hand cream is actually really good in this. So I definitely will be layering this up because I really, really like how this smells, you guys. This has been getting compared to Strawberry Pound Cake, which y'all know I totally love. And I can totally see the comparisons of this. It definitely has that same like fresh strawberry type of vibe, like almost a candied or like, you know, strawberry preserves type of vibe. But there's also a light fluffy powderiness from that whipped cream and then the bergamot gives it like a little bit of a zestiness almost like if you were to cut up some fresh strawberries and like add lemon juice or something to make it you know make the flavors more bright that's the vibe i get from this but it's also giving me like a strawberry powdered sugar type of vibe like i definitely really really like this one but I do feel the Fine Fragrance Mist is pretty light, so I will be grabbing some of the other forms of this to layer up with it because I definitely really like this one and the packaging is just bomb, so yeah. Okay, y'all, now y'all already know we're down to the end, so I'm going to rate these from my least favorite to my favorite, so here we go. Let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, I have 16 mists right here, so this is gonna be a little bit hard, so bear with me. Okay, y'all, coming in at number 16 is Rainbow Swirl Candy. I don't like it. I told y'all I don't like it. It's sour. It's weird. It's just the mashup of the scents together. It just doesn't work for me. It gives me medicine vibes. It gives me kids toothpaste vibes and I'm not a fan. So she's definitely going back to the store. This is my least favorite of them all. <laughs> you guys next in line number 15 is going to be Starlit Night. So unfortunately while I do feel like there are some elements of this that I could potentially like overall every time I smell it it really just gives me a faint cough medicine type of smell so unfortunately it did not do enough for me to like it or even want to consider layering it with anything i know a lot of you guys are always like oh you should try layering with this layering with that i feel like i only layer things that i like to begin with i don't like to layer things if i just genuinely don't like something at all if it has something about it that i like then i'm like okay but if it's something that I just don't like, then I'm not going to bother myself layering it with anything. So Starlit Night, she's coming in at number 15. Not a fan of her, unfortunately. All right, you guys, coming in at number 14 is Little Miss Dream Bright. So I told you guys 
I don't think that this is a bad scent or anything. It's okay. I smell the berries. It definitely gives me a little bit of a perfume quality, but I feel like if I was ever in the mood to wear a scent like this, I would reach for Into the Night, which is a little bit more grown up to me, a little bit more sexy and has that perfume quality that I like. And I just don't feel like this is memorable enough to continue to be in my collection. So unfortunately, this one will be going somewhere else, either to another home or back to the store. And this is going to be my number 14 pick. Okay, you guys, I know this is going to come as a shock, but we are starting to get into that territory where I like most of these. I just have to figure out what I need to do to make me like them more. And that is how I feel about this one. So this is Fireside Flurries. Um, I do really, really want to love this one, and I feel like it has potential. But for me, I'm really getting more of that lavender woodiness than I would like. And I'm really not a lavender fan. So I think that's why this is not higher up on the list for me. But I do plan on keeping it and layering it with some more marshmallowy things to see if I can bring out more of the marshmallow in this. But as of right now, this is number 13 for me. At number 12 is Vanilla B Noel. And the only reason it's not lower is because... This truly used to be my go-to girl in the winter, but I don't know what happened. They really just need to fix the formula and make it go back to the original Vanilla Bean Noel because this used to be my ultimate favorite gourmand scent and I can just barely smell it. And the formula gets lighter and lighter every year, unfortunately. So I do smell that original caramelly musky goodness. For the most part, you guys, it is just super, super faint and hard for me to detect what this scent used to be and considering it used to be amazing that is the impression that i have of this so unfortunately this year's version is just not giving for me and even versions from the past couple of years have just not been giving what they need to give so i don't know y'all might try out a body cream or a body lotion of this but overall you guys the fine fragrance miss she's just not doing what she needs to do so yeah all right number 11 you guys is going to be ice sugar plum now i was really hesitating putting this one at number 11 because honestly y'all i do really really like how it smells as I continue to sniff the cap and smell it, I'm like, man, like this has so much potential. It definitely has that powder, sugar, marshmallow, fluffy vibe, but you really don't smell a whole lot of that plum until you like, you really only smell the plum in like the first few seconds when you first spray it. But this is mostly just a very delicious marshmallowy scent. But unfortunately, as I said, when I was talking about this, I cannot wear the cap, girl. I can't wear the cap. I gotta wear the scent. I gotta spray it on my clothes, on my body. And if I cannot spray it and smell it on myself and other people are not smelling it, it's literally pointless for me to wear because I don't always wear scents for other people. But sometimes if I go nose blind to a scent and I can't smell it, but somebody else can smell it, it makes me feel better about keeping it. But unfortunately, nobody can smell this on me. I can't smell it on myself. My mom couldn't smell it on me. And unfortunately, girl, this one just gotta go. So I really, really wanted to love this. I really wanted to keep this. I might even try a body cream or body lotion of it before I completely decide to get rid of it. Because like I said, I do like the scent, but the simple fact of the matter is I can only smell the scent when I smell it, when I spray it in the cap. And that does absolutely nothing for me. So yeah. Come in at number 11, Ice Sugar Plum. Coming in at number 10 is Little Miss Frosted Coconut Snowball. I told you guys, I'm definitely really into this. I'm probably gonna use it more so to layer with things, but I definitely really like this one. I love that it's a creamy, citrusy coconut, and I feel like it's really hard to get a good coconut scent in the winter. So I do feel like my favorite, my ultimate favorite coconut scent from Bath & Body Works Winter Collections is Coconut Mint Drop. So if we ever saw Coconut Mint Drop come back in body care, I would definitely scoop that up. But I do feel like this is a good coconut winter scent to have. And that is why it's coming in at number 10. All right, you guys, the number nine for me is going to be Twisted Peppermint. This is another returning favorite classic for me. I do feel like it's a little heavier on the mint this year, but overall, I do still feel, I do still get that sweet, creamy peppermint vibe. This is just a favorite for me during winter. I definitely needed to have this in my rotation, and that is why she is coming in at number nine. Number eight, you guys, is going to be Winter Candy Apple. Again, this is another returning favorite, another returning classic for me. If you love apple scents, this is definitely your go-to girl. The scent is exactly the same. This is one of the few scents that I feel like they have not actually changed. If you are a fan of apple scents, I definitely recommend checking out Winter Candy Apple. Hey, you guys, coming in at number seven, this is Bright Christmas Morning. So this was really close to Winter Candy Apple for me because these are both apple -y type of scents. But overall, I do think I like this one just a smidge more because it has a little bit more of that sweet tart, fruity element to it. So I really, really 
like this one. I don't get a whole lot of apple from this one. I'm mainly getting more berries in this. Mainly getting berries and blood orange from this, but I do really, really love how this smells. So I'm interested to see how this performs once I go and grab some of the moisturizers and layer this up with those. But that is Bright Christmas Morning coming in at number seven. Girl, coming in at number six is Bay Winterberry Wonder. If you love berry scents, girl, this is a must have for your collection. I literally always get compliments when I wear this. It's super non-offensive, but it's also sweet. It's a little bit tart. And this is just a great scent that you could wear year round, not even just for the winter time, but this is one that I will always have in my winter rotation. So yes, that is Winterberry Wonder coming in at number six. Now that we're in the top five, this is actually a lot harder, but number five is going to be Strawberry Snowflakes. I love how this smells, you guys. I told you guys, it literally smells like fresh strawberries and like powdered sugar and whipped cream. It just smells really, really good. My only, only, only reason that this is not higher up is because I wish it was a little bit stronger. So I am going to pick up some of the moisturizers to layer up with this, but Overall, I really, really love this scent and that is why it made it into my top five. All right, you guys, number four, of course, is Snowflakes and Cashmere. This is Bay, this is Ben Bay, and this is literally the perfect layerable scent or you can wear it by itself. It's not offensive, it's perfect to gift, it's perfect to wear, it's perfect to wear to work, it's perfect to wear out, it's perfect to wear with other perfumes. I just feel like it has a rich but also non-offensive quality to it. It's a little musky, it's a little powdery. It's just a great all around scent and you definitely don't even have to wear this only in the winter but this is definitely a go-to girl for me so that is why it's coming in at number four number three believe it or not is someone who is new to my collection that is a returning which used to be a core scent which is magic in the air i completely have fallen in love with this one if you are a lover of almondy scents and powdery scents this is literally going to be heaven for you those are two perfume notes that i totally love i love almond i love powdery florals and this is just a dream type of scent for me if that is your scent profile. There's also a little bit of a sweet vanilla quality to it. And it literally smells like the name. It literally smells like a magical, powdery, airy type of scent. And I have just completely fallen in love with it, not to mention how cute the packaging is. So yes, number three is magic in the air for me. Okay, y'all, my top two was so hard, but coming in at number two is Christmas cookies slash Merry Cookie because it's literally the exact same. I just love this scent. I literally can layer this scent with anything. I can wear it by itself. I love to douse myself down in this fragrance. The only reason it's not number one this year is because again with everything else i do feel like it's a little bit lighter than what it used to be it definitely is lacking a little bit of that caramelly goodness that the original formula had but overall you guys i still love this scent it definitely lingers on me for a little while and i am already getting compliments when i wear it so that is why christmas cookies is going to be number two if you are a gourmand lover this is definitely a must have for your collection surprisingly <laughs> Vanilla Mocha Martini. She is coming in at my number one spot as far as how it smells, as far as the strength of the smell, and the fact that this is a little bit heavier on the chocolate note. As a coffee lover, as a coffee scent lover, as a gourmand lover, I feel like this perfectly blends coffee, vanilla, and mocha together, and it just smells delicious. It's warm, it's cozy, it's comforting, and I've already been getting some compliments on it. So I also love the fact that the packaging is a brown faceted packaging. I love a good nude, a good neutral color, as you can see, and this is just my fave so far. So I'm super, super happy to have this in my collection and start adding it to my rotation. I already have vanilla mocha cream, so I didn't really need this one, but I mean, I do feel like this one has a little bit more of that mocha note coming through. And I wanted to go ahead and add another bottle to my collection because I did not have a backup of vanilla mocha cream. So I will for sure be getting some moisturizers of this guy, for sure. Okay, you guys, that is it for this haul. That is it for my review of the Christmas fragrances. I definitely recommend that you guys still go into your stores and see what you guys like see what works for you, see what works with your body chemistry because at the end of the day, our noses all pick up different things. These are my thoughts and if you have similar scent profile and taste as me, then this is what I recommend picking up and leaving behind. But if not, girl, go in there and see what you like. That is the fun of trying fragrances. We find things that work for us that we like and that is why I love doing reviews. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.